by Ryan Porteous, played 90 minutes for Scotland against England last Tuesday night at Hampden Park. Here come Watford, away down the left-hand side. It's a nice bit of interchange between Morris and the left winger Martins. Martins tries to get into the penalty area, he's up against Shemi Ajayi, pulls it back, edge of the box, here's Kone, pokes it out to the right-hand side, loser, and a striker goal! It's into the far corner and past Alex Palmer. It's a wonderful start for Watford. It's a wretched start for West Bromwich Albion. Less than two and a half minutes on the clock. The first attack of the game. And Tom Ince curls it in left-footed from the right-hand side of the penalty area into the top corner of the net, past Palmer. It finished Bristol, Bristol City 4, Plymouth 1, Cardiff 3, Coventry 2, Preston 2, Birmingham 1, QPR 1, Swansea 1, Southampton 2. We're in, we're in, oh, we're in. a chance, Thomas Asante, the ball oh, you've got it. Thomas Asante pulls it back, oh, and they're giving it away again. You call, oh. challenged by Ngakia on the edge of the penalty area. Albion have a free kick. What an opportunity for Brendan Thomas Asante to shoot, and he just couldn't get a strike off. It's a great opportunity. I'm just going to wait for the replay, Jess, because it's like the ball wouldn't sit down for him, the lad. It, yeah, it won't sit down against stuck under his feet and by the which time the, the angle's gone it's right on the edge of the deep just left of centre it's Swift right footed oh, oh there it is into the back of the net there brilliant from John Swift make that four goals for the playmaker this season in the Skybet Championship his first away from home this season and it's a goal that has brought the Baggies back on level terms it's a beauty Andy it is yeah it's good as uh, Inces was that's a great free kick when you put it down you look at it Jess you think if you had to put a ball anywhere for John Swift to take this free kick that's exactly where he'd want to put it and he does not disappoint very clever and they've got the two, two lads on the edge of the wall which are obviously causing a distraction because he's played it straight at them the keeper takes a step to his right and then he's rooted to the spot great free kick a little bit concerning with the long straight ball hold on we're in again here it's Thomas Asante on the right hand channel very isolated figure needs some help he's got Wallace coming up behind him Thomas Asante pushes the ball past the Aralta but covering was uh, Ryan Porteous and they've lost it again Watford at the back here's Thomas Asante Furlong oh, oh, oh what a goal. goal and it five what a goal that is well Albion have turned this game around 1-0 down early on but less than 17 minutes on the clock they lead 2-1 at Vicarage Road a brilliant ball in from the right hand side after Watford lose it again inside their defensive third and Wallace on the stretch it's his first goal of the season and make no mistake just look at his face you know see how much this means to this lad Trenick Thomas Asante he works tirelessly to win the ball back and when he does he touches it outside to Furlong and you won't see a final pass into the ball but look at Wallace's desire to get on the end of this he's reaching he's stretching he gets a toe on the left foot I think and look at his face his reaction after when he scores that's how much it means to him loser no again because Lou the decision goes against him mm -hmm. play continues with Watford in possession here is Mateus Martins past Jed Wallace up to the edge of the box Martin oh. shoots oh what a goal that is another cracking Watford goal and the Brazilian Mateus Martins has his third of the season. It's goals galore inside the opening first half of the first half here at Vicarage Road in the rain. You could say it's raining goals, Andy. <laughs> Albion just couldn't stop. And Mateus Martins dinks it into the penalty area, looking for a shot. Headed Jay. away. Thomas Asante takes over, away from Morris. Thomas Asante oh, left foot oh, strike. The strike. And palmed over the top of the crossbar from Daniel Backman. That one was travelling. And its destination was the back of the net until Backman made the stop. He's on his left hand side and he gets it clean as a whistle. And credit to the goalkeeper for Watford, he pulls off a good save. So Ismail Lassar and Jao Pedro both leaving. Oh, come on. It's a great ball. Oh, what, what a save! save from Palmer off the crossbar. Albion need to clear it. They've managed to get it just about far away enough from goal. I can't wait to see it again. Here it comes on the screen, the replay. It's a delightful ball in, in fairness. Oh, it's a great header. That's it's, three oh, it's a great save. He gets so much power behind it. It's unreal. But Palmer more than more than matched it. Is it forward? Gives it oh, straight to Chalabar. Chalabar. Chalabar wins the ball. Brilliant. Brilliant. It through to Sarmiento. It's 3v2 for Albion. Sarmiento, he's got Mert with him. Sarmiento target, using target. Thomas Asante. Oh, what, a save. what a save by Backman. What a save. Who stood up tall, stood up late, and makes a crucial stop for Watford when Thomas Asante might well have won it. Yeah, credit where credit's due. It's a great save from the keeper. Big opportunity, Andy. Yeah, it was. I mean, credit to the goalkeeper. It's a great save. 